Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world's the world away. We now got part 58 of Hashet Part Works Build the Terminator. So I've managed to get a hold of issue 58. This actually came out last week. We were meant to get issue 59 this week, but because of the coronavirus, everything's been put back. So issue 59 of this is going to be out next Wednesday, as is the next episode of the Spitfire and also the Bismarck. So uh, they are now running bi-weekly or fortnightly, if you like. Uh, in this issue, though, we're going to be fitting some parts to the right fire. There's not a lot to do in this at all. As you can see, we've just got this one large section here and a couple of screws. <laughs> That's pretty much it. As a matter of fact, that looks just like this here. Now I can already tell you, this is plastic. So you can tell that from the weight before I've even opened it. Uh, but in the next issue, as you can see here, we're gonna be assembling part of the lower limb. So it's just another one of these uh, rods here. Uh, again, it doesn't look like there's too much to do in these leg videos, but it does become apparent that the whole leg section is mainly plastic. And I'm sure we are gonna have some reinforcements uh, just like you saw in the joint there with some metal pieces, uh, but it is what it is. So uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so I'm going to bring the Terminator over, and what I'm going to do is I'll bring his arm up kind of like that. Let's bend his elbow joint there, just so we've got a good view of this section here. Because I'm doing this completely blind from me, because I'm working on this side, and I'm sitting over this side here. All we're going to do is we're going to take this section, and we're just going to attach it underneath, just like that. And that's actually just going to keep that in place. Now we are going to be securing this in place with two times four mil screws. They're the little silver ones. They go in these little tiny holes here. So I'm holding this from that side. We can put one in this side here, just like that. That's the first one. Now there's another one, which you just can't see, but it is above that one, right at the top here. Just in there. So again, I'm holding that while I screw that in. That's number two. And then I've lifted the leg up a little bit more, just so I can get to this last one, which is over here. And we'll screw that in. And then the last thing we need is this leg joint that we uh, had in the last issue. This is just going to attach to the hole that we've got down the bottom there. So that's actually just going to go on just like that. And this is going to use one of the screws that they provided, which is a uh, three times 16 mil screw. So I'm going to line this up and we'll get this in just like this. And then once again, holding it from the other side, screw this all the way down. And there we go, that's in nice and tight. You still have got some room for this to wiggle around because obviously this is going to be moving, I'm guessing, uh, and it needs to be able to go up and down as well. Uh, but it won't go any tighter than that, so don't be surprised uh, when you see that go in like that. And there you go, that's our whole leg piece done. And that section is now completed. Now, if I just uh, move the arm back round again, I just want to get to these sections here. Now, if you remember, these used to be really loose and they're really tight now. Now, in a previous video on my live stream a couple of weeks ago, we actually fixed that by one of my viewers who uh, came up with a fix for that uh, to uh, put that in place. And I'm going to show you that uh, just after this bit now. Now, I know a lot of you have actually done your own fixes for this. I've seen Ian Sparrowhawk put a little 5P piece over the top and screw it there and uh, glue it down. The fix that you'll see Andrew provide here uh, is a little bit more permanent it actually goes in and there's no danger of it coming off later on down the build if the glue uh, decides to come away uh, but it's a really good fix to stop that wobble that we've got in there uh, but that's all there is to do in this video so let's just show you that fix so I've got my lavalier mic on tonight and as I said I've got the email address there andywhitely at hotmail.com he is charging us there $5.99 including postage for these now all they are is they've been milled uh, plastic let me just try and show you on camera there there we go uh, looking just like that now this actually goes into this tube here but to get it in there we've got to take some of this apart so what I'm going to do is we've got to remove four screws so one there this one over here two now I apologize I'm not looking at the uh, the camera while this is going on I won't be able to see any chat but uh, this shouldn't take too long <laughs> and here's the last one here now what I'm trying to do is just lift up one side just to get this section out so I'm gonna just pull this out from here just like that and then I'm gonna just pry this up a little bit just so I can get this ball joint out just like that see simples 
Right, we'll take the screw out of here. Just like that, and this whole section will break apart. Just like that. So we're left with just that bit like that. Now what we need is this section here. Then all we do, we get some glue. Put some glue just around the tab base here. Both sides. You probably noticed, Wayne, how have you managed to get a webcam back over here? Well, I stole it from my 3D printer. I haven't really got anything to print on the 3D printer now. So uh, this is going to go in just like this. Nice and easy, huh? And then we'll just give that time to set. And then all we do is we feed this whole shaft here. Yes, I said the word shaft into there. And as you can see, it stops the rotation there. And then we just put everything back together again. So that bit goes on like that. This bit here goes over the top. And we'll put the screw back in. And then that cheap fix there for $5.99 has fixed the wobble. Once I get this screw in, there we go. So tighten that up. Lovely jubbly. And then put this back in here. Close this down like that. Then just put all of these screws back in. So that one there. That one there. But yeah, by all means, I have spoke to um, Andrew and he's, uh, he's happy for you to email him about these. He sent me four. I think it's only two in a pack. I think he sent me a couple more. Just in case I cock up. But uh, it's very hard to cock up with that sort of thing. And that's the last screw in there. And then all you do is plug this section back in there again. And then as you can see, you haven't got that going around. You've got enough give there to enable the, the pelvic section there to actually go up and down still. But uh, that's fixed the problem. There you go, simple as that. If you want one of those, said I'll put his email address down the bottom there so you can get in touch with Andrew. But uh, apart from that, not much to do, but uh, it was a little bit fiddly, actually. <laughs> anyway, listen, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Tomorrow we're back to the Bismarck. Take care, stay safe.